Hi friends, welcome to the video blog. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. Today we can discuss something about plant hormones, new generation plant hormones. What are the new generation plant hormones? What are its characteristics, etc. Generally speaking, uh, these plant hormones are uh, small organic molecules which is incised at specific parts of the plant, specific cells or tissues of the plant, which is transported to another part of the plant, which can influence physiological processes such as uh, promote or inhibit the growth and development, etc. So, hormones are incised and stored at specific regions um, of transaction and uh, hormones travel within the phloem or, um, or from cell to cell. Uh, after reception of appropriate stimulus, the term hormone was first um, used by the scientist Darling in 1906. Um, Generally speaking, the plant hormones are divided into five categories, of which um, based on the function, chemical structure, etc., which include auxins. The natural auxin is indole-3 acetic acid. Keep in mind. Synthetic auxin, all others are synthetic auxins, which are indole 3 butyric acid, 2 methyl 4 chlorophenoxy acetic acid, indole 3 propionic acid, uh, 2 4 dichlorophenoxy acetic acid, is a 2 4 D. And uh, another growth promoting um, uh, hormone is the gibberlins, GA1 to GAN, uh, in the order of their discovery, it is winked. And cytokines, which include kinetin, uh, zeatin, uh, dihydrozeatin. Tricant, uh, tricantin, uh, isopentanyl, adenine, etc. When uh, coming to the growth inhibitors, ethylene is a growth inhibitor, abscisic acid is a stress hormone, is a growth inhibitor, um, uh, chlorokine, chlorine, morphatins, malic hydrazides, these are growth inhibitors. We are not speaking about uh, the, uh, um, uh, the hormones which we have discussed earlier, um, that is the um, general hormones uh, which used, which is involved in the plant growth or plant growth uh, promoting or plant growth inhibition. We are only uh, dealing with the slides with the new generation uh, hormones. We will deal with the common hormones which oxygen, cytokines, etc. in another slide. The new generation or, um, hormones which include uh, brassinosteroids, salicylic acid, peptides, polyamines, jasponides, etc. Which include, uh, we can see, brassinosteroids, salicylic acid, jasponides, polyamines, 1 methyl cyclopropane, peptides, etc. Coming to the first new generation hormone that is the brassinosteroids. Chemically similar to the animal steroid hormone, but in contrast to this uh, animal steroid hormone, usually animal steroid hormones can pass through the plasma membrane and uh, um, bind at, uh, to uh, the receptor present in the cytosol or um, nucleus. But in the case of uh, brassinosteroid as it can pass the plasma membrane, but it binds to the receptor present in the plasma membrane. Um, uh, uh, a receptor kinase is present in the plasma membrane. These are poly um, uh, hydroxylated uh, steroid hormones um, um, of plants, st uh, mostly studied in uh, Arab doses. Uh, Brassinolide is the most active form of uh, brassinosteroids uh, among the 70 uh, known brassinosteroids. Brassinolide uh, were first isolated from a um, brassinosteroid from the pollen of Brassica napus, that is a mustard family, it is first isolated. Um, so it is um, named as brassinosteroid and brassinosteroids biosynthesized from um, camps, uh, campus steroid, campus steroid from the uh, steroid, campus steroid, the brassinosteroid is get um, biosynthesized and brassinosteroid is recognized at the cell membrane although they can, um, uh, they are membrane solid as I said earlier, uh, they bind to a receptor present in the plasma membrane, not they um, uh, go into the plasma membrane bound at um, uh, um, a receptor present in the cytosol and nucleus as common uh, steroid hormones are present in humans too. The extract from the plant of uh, Lycnis viscera contains a relatively high am higher amount of plasma steroid. Lycnis viscera increases uh, the disease resistance uh, to the surrounding plants. Usually this plasma steroid provides stress um, tolerance to the plants. You can see plasma steroid have been reported to counteract uh, with both uh, biotic and uh, uh, biotic stress in plants, basisteroid increase the tolerance to higher temperature in basica gentia. 
as i said in the earlier slide they are first isolated from the pollen of mustard family and studied extensively about 70 batsmen studied have been known and uh, uh, until now and effective they are effective in very low concentration and basal steroids main function include uh, they stimulate the cell division cell uh, stem elongation cell elongation cell wall loosening cell wall regeneration differentiation of xylem tissues inhibit leaf abscission plant found uh, deficient basal steroids suffer from uh, dwarfism and uh, regulate the growth and differentiation of plants through their life cycle and promotion of vascular differentiation uh, some protection to plant during chilling droughts as i said uh, stress um, uh, tolerance can be acquired by the presence of probation steroid ethylene biosensors required for fertility is increase in, uh, is necessary for pollen elongation for pollen to formation inhibit uh, root uh, development and growth the second new generation um, uh, hormone plant hormone includes salicylic acid salicylic acid is synthesized from phenylalanine it is a monohydroxy benzoic acid a type of phenolic acid and beta hydroxy acid it is found in plants uh, with roles in plant growth and development photosynthesis transpiration ion uptake and transport promotes the production of pathogenesis related protein can reverse the effect of abscisic uh, acid in um, some cases and the salicylic acid he also induced specific changes in leaf anatomy and chloroplast structure salicylic acid is involved in endogenous signaling and mediating plant defense against pathogens so mainly it protects uh, plants from pathogenic attack uh, by producing pathogen uh, pathogen like pathogenesis related proteins and also it has um, role in reversing the abscisic acid action etc Generally speaking, the plant hormones are divided into five categories, of which um, based on the function, chemical structure, etc., which include auxins. The natural auxin is indole three acetic acid. Keep in mind, synthetic auxin. All others are synthetic auxins, which are indole three butyric acid, two methyl four chlorophenoxy acetic acid, indole three propionic acid, uh, two four dichlorophenoxy acetic acid is a two four D. And uh, another growth promoting um, uh, hormone is the gibberellins, GA1 to GA uh, in the order of their discovery it is winked. And cytokines which include kinetin, uh, zeatin, uh, dihydrozeatin, tricantin, uh, uh, isopentanyl, adenine, etc. When uh, coming to the growth inhibitors, ethylene is a growth inhibitor, abscisic acid is a stress hormone, is a growth inhibitor, um, uh, chlorokine, chloride morphatins, malic hydrocytes, these are growth inhibitors. Next plant hormone is the jasmonic acid. Jasmonic acid is a plant uh, immune hormone. Mainly these uh, type of bacteria or next generation plant hormones are involved in providing stress uh, response uh, or uh, tolerating the stress for helping, uh, helping plant to tolerate the stress. So jasmonic acid is also involved in such and such process. Jasmonic acid is a, a plant immune hormone derived from linolic acid. Sorry, linolenic acid linolenic acid uh, uh, which can convert into variety of derivatives including methyl jasmonate uh, initially methyl jasmonate was discovered as a secondary metabolite in essential oil of jasmine and plants defense um, uh, was uh, shown by uh, the farmer and Ryan usually uh, is first uh, as, as the name indicates that which is first um, discovered in jasmine jasmine oil so um, uh, later its role in uh, it uh, was isolated as the secondary metabolite later its role in plant defense can uh, was uh, found out by farmer and ryan in 1990 and its role of uh, jasmonic acid in plants in regulated um, 
plant growth development process including growth inhibition senescence flower development leaf abscission also helps in tuber formation potatoes yams onions and response to wounding uh, wounding of plants also help in uh, transcription of many genes involved in plant defense usually plant defense is the things which um, involved uh, in jasmonic acid signaling the application of jasmonic acid um, including n propyl dihydro jasmonate uh, pdj is a jasmonic acid derivative which is used to improve the apple fruit quality and color it regulates the ethylene biosynthesis and influences aroma volatiles jasmonates um, have a role in plant defense against environmental stresses the application of uh, this pdj uh, decrease the low temperature injuries such as splitting and spotting in apple fruit so mainly the plant defense is the thing which um, mediated by uh, this jasmonic acid which is uh, uh, derived from linolenic acid coming to the first new generation hormone that is the brachynosteroids chemically similar to the animal steroid hormone but in contrast to this uh, animal steroid hormone usually animal steroid hormones can pass through the plasma membrane and uh, um, bind at, uh, to uh, the receptor present in the cytosol or um, nucleus but in the case of uh, brachynosteroid as it can pass the plasma membrane but it binds to the receptor present in the plasma membrane um, uh, uh, receptor kinase present in the plasma membrane these are poly um, uh, hydroxylated uh, steroid hormones um, um, of plants st- uh, mostly studied in uh, arab doses uh, brachynolide is the most active form of uh, brachynosteroids uh, among the 70 and known brachynosteroids brachynolide uh, were first isolated from brachynosteroid from the pollen of brassica napa that is a mustard family it is first isolated um, so it is um, named as brachynosteroid and brachynosteroids biosynthesized from um, camps uh, campesterol campesterol from the ste- uh, ste- steroid campesterol the brachynosteroid is get um, biosynthesized and brachynosteroid is recognized at the cell membrane although they can um, uh, they are membrane soluble as i said earlier uh, they bind to a receptor present in the plasma membrane not they um, uh, go into the plasma membrane bound at um, uh, um, my receptor present in the cytosol nucleus as so common steroid hormones are present in humans too the extract from the plant of uh, lichenis viscera contains a relatively high am- higher amount of plasma steroid lichenis viscera increases uh, the disease resistance uh, to the surrounding plants usually this plasma steroid provides stress um, tolerance to the plants you can see plasma steroid have been reported to counteract uh, with both uh, biotic and uh, uh, another uh, plant growth or regulators are uh, uh, one methyl cyclopropane it's a cyclopropane a derivative used as a um, synthetic plant growth regulator and a non toxic it is a non toxic gas which delays the fruits opening and uh, improves the quality of several fruits also affects ripening and senescence process including pigment changes of the fruits softening cell wall metabolism flavor aroma nutritional properties but to varying degrees um, in both non climatic and uh, climatic fruits so um, uh, as we discussed in um, uh, polyamines uh, this like more in methyl cyclopropane also has similar um, uh, role in uh, regulating the fruit ripening uh, we can discuss the role of uh, M- mcp including um, it interact like a polyamines it interact with the ethylene sensitive sites in the fruit and delays ripening it also slows uh, fruit softening senescence and maintains firmness decrease storage disorders such as scald uh, core flush internal browning uh, from senescence chilling injury also delays um, also it delays the chlorophyll degradation uh, similar pro- similar role it it plays like polyamines in um, um, Uh, delaying the fruit uh, ripening uh, which can help in increasing the shelf life of the, these fruits lastly one more for um, plant growth regulator we are going to discuss is the prohexodione calcium that is a chemical compound of uh, carboxylic um, a, a group Pro- uh, prohexodione calcium is a new generation anti gibberellin it's an anti gibberellin is a um, po uh, pro hexo uh, hexodione calcium is a new generation anti gibberellin which mimics two um, 
oxoglutaric acid and ascorbic acid and the role of oxodione uh, calcium includes uh, reducing uh, the longitudinal short shoot growth by uh, blocking uh, dioxygenase involved in the biosynthesis of gibberellin also reduces ethylene formation and delays the abscission of young fruits and senescence it also reduces the alternate bearing these are the main um, functions of this anti gibberellin uh, thank you for watching this video we will come with um, a video with uh, um, the important uh, plant hormones that is the main plant hormones in boxing cytokine gibberellin etc in um, uh, uh, the next presentation so um, uh, in that we will discuss the various signaling pathways involved in plant growth, uh, plant growth hormone um, uh, action so stay tuned uh, for that video um, thank you for watching this video please subscribe to this channel thank you